How do, you how do you detect if someone is using a fake profile on LinkedIn? Today I want to talk to you about a recent um, connection request that I got on LinkedIn that I accepted and then I later discovered was a fake profile. So my name is Louise Brogan. I teach people how to use LinkedIn for building relationships and generating leads in business. So it's ironic that this happened to me. Uh, and I, I share weekly videos, mini, mini tutorials and advice on this channel to help you with your LinkedIn for business. So what happened? I uh, had a connection request from a young woman uh, in the UK in an industry that I've done quite a lot of work in, um, in the financial services industry, I sent me a connection request and it was quite a generic connection request. It did have a message with it. Um, but because the message to me looked like it was going to lead to some kind of sales message, I actually ignored it for a few days. And then um, I was looking at my ne network connection requests a few days later and I thought actually I was, connect I was accepting other people's connection requests because they were connected to people that I already knew. And this young woman was still sitting in my, um, in my connection request folder. I hadn't actually ign click ignore on it yet. So I got the better of myself and I collected accept. And I thought nothing of it. And then a couple of days later, I got a sales message as expected from this profile, very generic, um, obviously copied and pasted it a thousand times. And I removed the person from my network. Then I got a message from one of my friends saying, have you heard about this honeypot scam that's going around on LinkedIn? And I was like, no, what is that? And it is when people create fake profiles of young, attractive people in their company to attract leads into their business. And they act as they are a real person and they build relationships with people, but they're actually not real. They're fake profiles. And when my friend sent me this, I thought, hold on a minute. And I went back to the uh, young woman I had accepted the connection request from. Now, bearing in mind, when she sent me the sales message, I removed her from my network without any messaging. I, I do that. If someone starts sending me sales messages that are generic and I'm not interested in them, I just remove them from my network. I have no time for that. And that's not how I'm building my network on LinkedIn. So I went back to her profile and I took a bit of a look at it. And number one, the headline was very generic. It was business development at blah, blah, blah. So I thought, okay, well, you know, business development, lots of people have poorly written LinkedIn profile headlines. And if you want some help with that, uh, go and check out this video to help you with that. Um, so that was number one. Number two was that she didn't have a lot of detail in her LinkedIn profile. Again, that happens with a lot of people that I work with. They sign up to work with me because they want help in developing a, a good, strong LinkedIn profile. So that wasn't the that wasn't the terminator that made me realize that it was a fake profile. So wait a Pretty poor headline, not a very well filled out profile. But then my detective hat came on and I actually typed the person's name into Google and the university that they said they went to and there were zero results. The name was quite unusual, so it wasn't like Bob Jones. It was a slightly unusual name and I could find it in two places on the internet. One was an Instagram account with five images that were not related to anything a young woman would be looking at. Um, no photographs of the young woman in person and not even a, the, the Instagram image was very generic as well. So I thought, mm, that's interesting. I can't find this young woman anywhere else on the internet. To be in your 20s and not have a digital footprint online is pretty unusual. So I thought, mm, this is deaf. I, I don't think this is a real profile. I think this is one of these honeypot profiles. So what I did next was, and this is the quickest way for you to check if somebody is real or not. I went and clicked on her image or her headshot on LinkedIn and I clicked, typed on the drop down. So on, you can Google an image. So by clicking on an image, right click and the drop down menu will appear and you can check for this image on Google. And when I did that, I discovered the same image had been used for various businesses online, including a spa in Spain and a brochure for a university in Colombia with a different name. 
And that's when I realized the profile was fake. So what I did then was I actually got back to the profile and I reported the person to LinkedIn. Interestingly, I then went to the company that she was supposedly working at and I found at least three other people who were fake profiles there as well. And once you spot these, it is so easy to see who they are because the other two women were both attractive, but not overly attractive, uh, but totally blemish free. So like amazing makeup, I guess. <laughs> Model photo shoots, probably been touched up and sold online or stock photos online. Um, but also the glaring thing for me was that they had a completely white background around their heads. And when I did the same thing with the Google My Image, those people were also being used. One of them was being used to sell um, corporate brochures somewhere in the Midwest in America. Um, so do a little bit, if, you're, if you are wary of a new connection request and you're not sure if they are a genuine person, here are the things to do. Have a look at their profile and see is it filled out. Did they send you a generic message or was it a, a real message? Can you see the company that they say they work for? Are there other people who are in a similar, look like a similar type of profile? But the easiest way is to Google the image and see is this a stock image or is this a real person? So I hope you don't get caught out by these fake profiles on LinkedIn. It's not a nice feeling to think that you accepted somebody who's fake because who is the person who's actually sending me the messages at the other end of the screen hidden behind this uh, young pretty brunette woman? Oh, doesn't bear thinking about. For me, luckily, it was purely a sales call to try and get me on um, a Zoom to talk about um, some financial services, but it could have been something else. So just be wary um, and Ten, I tend to accept connection requests from people who look like they want help with their LinkedIn. Um, they've connected with me on a message saying why they want to connect with me, or maybe we have somebody um, in common. If you're getting connection requests from people and you're not entirely sure, and they haven't sent you a message, another tip is send them a message and say hello and introduce yourself um, and start the conversation off that way. Okay, I would love to help you with your LinkedIn if you are struggling to get leads, genuine leads on LinkedIn without using fake profiles, then do reach out to me um, below and subscribe to the channel if you'd like more help with your LinkedIn. I share weekly videos on here.